What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new here. So in today's video, I am very excited to share my Pacifica Pineapple Curls line review. I tested these products while I was back home in the States visiting my family where I could easily go and collect the entire line from Ulta. So I'm really excited to share my results with you and what I think of each product and if it is worth the coin. So if that sounds good to you, then please keep watching. So the products I tested out were the Pineapple Curls Defining Shampoo, the Pineapple Curls Defining Conditioner. I also tried out the Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourish Mask, as well as the Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. There were a couple I couldn't find in the store and one that just wasn't really necessary for me. So I didn't pick up the Pineapple Curl Pomade just because I don't use a pomade. And I wasn't able to find the refresher mist or the curl smoothie glossy curl oil which i would have liked to have tried the curl oil like i love a good oil anywho i am excited to talk about these other products because i just really first of all the packaging like the packaging have you seen a prettier packaging for i'm sorry you have not you have not there is no prettier packaging in the market i don't care what you say you're wrong and if you don't agree with me that's okay you're still wrong no i'm kidding i mean like but seriously the packaging is stunning like not sponsored but i should be for like hyping them up this much so let's start out by talking about the shampoo and this is formulated without sulfates parabens phthalates sls or mineral oil so we'd love to see that. We also know that all of Pacifica's products are vegan and cruelty free, so that's great too. So the shampoo claims that it will set your curls free and help preserve your natural curl with bounce and definition. It'll cleanse your hair without weighing it down while still reducing frizz. Infused with pineapple, argan oil, and quinoa, and it says, let your natural beauty shine bright for all hair types. So standout ingredients in here would be pineapple, hyaluronic acid, and super oils. That's interesting. I've never tried hyaluronic acid for my hair before, so I found that to be pretty interesting. Now, the way that I use this shampoo is I always double cleanse because I only wash my hair once, maybe twice a week. So for me, it's really important to make sure I'm getting rid of all the buildup, even if I'm using like a buildup remover. I also have a little shampoo brush to really get in the scalp. So the first cleanse with the shampoo i use that brush and then just to make sure i've got any extra grime off i go ahead and i shampoo a second time feel like that makes my hair last a lot longer i don't get any way down from build up definitely recommend you try that so it looks like we have some coconut cleansing agents in here we have argania spinoza kernel oil we have olive fruit oil there's sodium hyaluronate we have the pineapple in here we have papaya fruit extract hydrolyzed rice protein and a hydrolyzed quinoa and the very last ingredient is parfum, which is perfume. So it is fragrance. It smells like pineapple, but it smells amazing. And the smell does wear off throughout the day. It's not like your hair is smelling super, super fragranced all day. Like it's not going to give you a headache. But I love all of the different extracts and oils they put in here. I feel like that does make a huge difference, to be honest. And it does have hydrolyzed protein. So if you are protein sensitive, Maybe just use styling products that don't have protein in them. I've talked about this a lot in other videos, so I won't dive too deep into the difference between like protein and moisture, but I don't feel like this had any adverse reaction on my hair. And I usually try to avoid products with protein. So I felt like it was completely fine. So let's talk about the uh, curl conditioner now. This is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Again, all of the products from Pacifica are. This is formulated without petroleum, parabens, SLS, or phthalates. And it has the same call out ingredients of pineapple, hyaluronic acid, and super oils. Now for this, I did apply it from root to end and then I combed it through. I find that it was really great for detangling. I have other conditioners that I use that are not so great, but this one really was like chef's kiss. So we love that. Also, I always condition the roots of my hair. If you're not doing that, what are you doing with your life? You're like, you're gonna get frizz, you're gonna get dry, you're gonna get breakage. Just condition your roots. It's okay. It's not going to weigh on your hair. It's not a heavy butter leave-in product. I wouldn't necessarily use a hair mask on the roots of my hair unless I bleached my hair or something like that. But just a basic conditioner, you're fine, sis. Just trust me on that. So I comb that through, you know, let it sit for about two minutes and rinse it out. And let's talk about some of the ingredients. So the first ingredient is water. 
We also have jojoba seed oil. We have the olive fruit oil in there as well. We have raspberry fruit extract. We have some flower extracts. We have the pineapple extract, sodium hyaluronate. So we love to see that. There is also rice bran oil, coconut oil in here, linseed oil, and natural perfume is the last ingredient. So this one says natural. The other one did not say natural. So that's something also to note. But again, I don't think you're gonna have any adverse reaction to it. So that's interesting. This one doesn't have any protein in it. So we wanna note that the protein then is only in the shampoo. So if you're protein sensitive, Shampoo rinses out right away. Like you're gonna be fine with this conditioner, no protein in here, so that's great. And like I said, I felt like this was a really nice moisturizing conditioner. I didn't feel like it was heavy. I didn't feel like it was gonna weigh down my hair, but I feel like it did its job. You know, some conditioners you rinse out and your hair just still feels stripped. And this one didn't leave my hair feeling like that at all. Now let's move on into the Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourishing Mask. I am really fussy about hair masks, okay? I don't like a lot of heavy butters, especially if they're high up in the ingredients list. I prefer a middle of the road type of mask. Like, I don't want it to be obviously too runny because then it doesn't really feel like where it's working. I'm like, mm, no. But I don't want it to be like super, super, super thick. Like, you know, like body butter consistency. You know what I'm talking about? That's not really for me. So, with that being said, I did really enjoy this. This is silicone free, just like the other products are. So I forgot to mention that in the beginning, like no silicones here, we're all set. So if you're afraid to use silicones, like you'll be fine. So the statement on this one is different. So we will read that out now. It says the Pacifica Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourish Mask adds deep breathable hydration to quench your dry curls without weighing down the bounce. It has rice proteins, avocado, coconut, and pineapple, which all come together with super oils to enrich and nourish. Get frizz under control and let your natural beauty shine through like the sunny rainbow it is already. So again, vegan and cruelty three, let's talk about some of the ingredients. First ingredient is water, not surprised there. We have meadow foam seed oil, <laughs> never heard of that in my life, not gonna pretend to be fancy. Uh, we have olive oil in there, avocado oil. These are all pretty high on the ingredients list, so that's great. Uh, we have hydrolyzed quinoa protein, hydrolyzed rice protein. We have some flour extracts again. We got the pineapple extract. Pineapple extract is a bit lower this time in the ingredients list. Linseed oil. We also have rice bran oil and natural perfume again at the very bottom of the list. So I actually really liked this mask. Note that there is no shea butter in here. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with shea butter. It is really hard for my hair to bounce back after using it. It is a very heavy, thick butter, and that personally just does not work for me. Um, I can be okay with coconut oil as long as it is a bit down on the list. This one happens to be like middle of the road, so I'm fine with that. It's not overly you know, heavy on the hair. So I really liked this mask overall. I thought that it was really great, to be honest. Like it did its job. My hair is very hydrated. My hair was very bouncy after and full and thick, which I really enjoyed. There's not really much else to say. Like I thought it was great. And the last product that I tried was the Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. And to be honest, I'm not really a big curl cream kind of gal. Like I have my set products that I really like that are like tried and true. And those tend to work for me. I have like a curl building serum that I love and then I have a gel that I love and an oil. So that's pretty much what I always use religiously. I don't really dive too deep into like creams and other things because it can tend to weigh down my hair. But with that being said, I use this instead of my curl building serum and then I didn't use a leave-in conditioner obviously because we just used a mask, which so you don't really need like Unless your hair is really damaged, you don't need a leave-in conditioner after you use a super hydrating hair mask in the shower. So I use this cream and then I use my gel and then I use the oil. And I still notice great bouncy hydrated results. So don't be afraid, this isn't going, it's not a super heavy cream. Just, you know, use it sparingly and try not to go all the way up to the roots. Like I always start low and then whatever like product is left in my hands, I slowly kind of work up to the roots and I will like lift away from my scalp and I also do this in sections. So to me, that is the best way to get this not to be super heavy or weigh down your roots. 
So it says that this will add some shine. It is infused with coconut oil, pineapple extract, and hyaluronic acid. This formula is designed to add manageability and soft bounce, which it did. It did add soft bounce, so it did what it said. Some of the ingredients are, again, water. We have linseed extract. We have salvia hispanica seed extract. Again, too fancy for me. I don't know what that is. Um, we have some coconut in here, coconut oil, sunflower seed oil. We have the pineapple extract, the sodium hyaluronate, and we have natural perfume. So again, it's not as big of an ingredients list as the other products. This actually has quite a bit less ingredients, but I feel like sometimes it's good. Less is more. So not really much else to say about this product. I, again, thought it was really great. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Pacifica curly review. I have been wanting to try these products forever, but they're really difficult, if not impossible, to come across in Ireland or to get shipped here, so I had to wait. But I hope it was worth the wait, and for what it's worth, if you've made it this far, I obviously recommend these products. I think they're great. I think this is a great drugstore alternative. I don't really spend a lot of money on hair care, if I'm honest. I don't own any high-end salon quality hair products. I find that I can just get whatever I'm looking for in the drugstore, and this is definitely one that I would repurchase over and over again. I think it is phenomenal. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really helps me with the algorithm.